Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I would like to share with you how to report plagiarized content or uh, copyright infringement um, from a competitor's or basically to report a competitor for those very things. Most recently I had one of my websites um, that someone I guess so uh, got the idea that they were going to go out and screen scrape uh, one of my websites uh, that's basically it's a hyper niche website and so it's doing very well in search ranking and so they essentially went out scraped the entire site put a new design up but then put my content in there verbatim essentially uh, without changing many many if any of the words uh, within the content so that being said uh, you know I don't necessarily take kindly to that I mean great it's uh, I guess it's a sign of uh, I should be flattered um, but nevertheless I basically wanted to report them to uh, Google search support and so to do so what you'll need to have is a Google search console account and so you can go to google.com forward slash webmasters with an S slash tools with an S and set up an account if you already have an account then what you'll need to do um, you can type in this address uh, for the copyright removal which is google.com forward slash webmasters tools um, and then DMCA dash notice so if you type in this entire uh, URL it'll get you to this page and so essentially you can report alleged copyright infringement um, for web search and so that being said uh, what you'll need to do now one thing to to really consider is you cannot be a third party um, reporting it on behalf of someone so you need to be the person and you need to likely already go ahead and have a Google account uh, that is yours that is associated with your company so for instance mine is associated with this site and uh, basically what you do is you come in here and you'll fill in your contact information you'll choose that you are the copyright holder you'll enter in your email address um, you'll choose you know the country the region here and then when you get to this section about your copyrighted work so you need to identify and describe the copyrighted work in which um, you know in which that person is I guess in violation of and so it gives some examples here and essentially and for my case was which was it was so easy that you know essentially I just need to point them to hey look at their site look at my site you read it you get the gist of you know how they've infringed upon uh, my content copyright so nevertheless what you want to do if you have multiple cases so let's say you have two different sites then you'll need to fill out two different forms for this do not include two different sites within this form include one a one-to-one -one relationship so the site who um, who basically has infringed upon your copyright and then the site from which they pulled from so that said put all the content here and then it asks the question of where can we see the authorized example of your work you need to put in the links um, so is it if it's multiple pages then you put each individual page there and then the location of their fringing material is basically the person who copied your content and so you'll need to put line for line one URL per line um, if it's the entire site, I mean, you might as well go ahead and state that up here in this box that it was the entire site and then just put um, your URL here and then their URL there. And then other than that, you need to select all these boxes um, to confirm that you are applying or adhering to um, each of these sworn statements. Put in a date, sign your name, signature, click the I'm not a robot and then hit submit. Once you hit submit, then it will redirect you to a copyright dashboard um, that looks just like this. And so uh, you can see I submitted one on um, August 7, 2018 for the site in which I saw um, that they, you know, basically copied my entire site. Um, I'm not going to click it only because it would, would reveal the site. And so nevertheless, you'll get a confirmation ID. You'll see how the number of total URLs, you'll see which ones have been approved, which ones have been ejected, and then which 
which ones are pending. Um, and so, yeah, so they'll basically, I don't know how long it'll take. I would imagine it's going to take some time because this is a manual process. But nevertheless, you're in their system. They will respond. You can also create a new notice um, just by entering another URL and then looking up that URL. Um, that being said, now you may ask the question, well, how in the world do, would you even know? And so there's another site um, that I use from time to time, and it's called uh, Copyscape. And so you can search for copies of your page on the web. And so you can also go here and click um, their plagiarism, and it goes into... Uh, a whole list of things and so they have a couple different services that you can use in terms of you know copyscape the premium service um, they also have free uh, comparison tools so you can actually compare article to article or even a site to site uh, just to see whether or not um, someone has infringed upon your content uh, your copywritten content. So that being said, I hope that this helps. I hope that this sheds light on uh, how to report a competitor or how to report just any website that has infringed upon your copywritten uh, material. That being said, um, please you know subscribe to the YouTube channel here where basically I deliver a weekly video sometimes talking about wordpress tips and tricks sometimes it's talking about things like this of you know what do you do how do you operate your website how do you protect your website and your investment um, i also talk about search marketing as well as domain uh, investing strategies or domain name strategies to help grow your business so please subscribe to my youtube channel also please visit kickstartcommerce.com and in the right side here sign up for the daily scoop uh, newsletter for need to know, you know, search marketing, domain name, uh, marketing strategies, you know, to help grow your business. So that being said, that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you next week. Thanks. That's all for now.